today I will show you how to recover lost files. We have now installed the Puron Utilities and we should launch the application File Recovery. Here you can see we have uh, all the different partitions and drives detected. And you will need to recognize the size of the drive you need to recover. And of course, before starting the computer, you need to connect the drives to your computer from which you want to recover files. Which means you need to open the computer, plug in the SATA cable and the uh, power cable for the hard drive. And then of course, you will need to go into boot options and make sure you boot from the normal drive. I have a video on how to select boot drive if you are unsure. Anyways, the drive I have connected in for recovery is 250 gigabytes, which means this is the only drive um, possible. We also have the D drive, which is kind of the formatted version of it. We can select that as well, but this one is slightly larger, so we will go and scan this one. So what you do is you click scan. And this is a raw physical hard drive, which means deep scan are selected by default. We want the deep scan. All right, we click OK and we will let it run. This process does take a long time. It can take several hours if you have a large drive or less if it's smaller. The faster the drive is, the faster it will be to scan as well. Let this run to completion and thereafter we can check the lost files. This is a bad drive, which means sometimes it randomly disconnects. If it does, if your drive does this, you will get this no files found. Please try deep scan. Uh, and uh, because the drive is disconnected, we're going to close down this one, start this one again and see if it's there. We can see our drive is not present, which, need, uh, which means I need to go and connect it and disconnect it. Drive is now connected again, we'll start file recovery here, and we can find the drive here. All right, we now click scan. In any case, if you will have uh, trouble of knowing if this is really the drive, you can click stop and it will wait and you will see the files it have already searched. Now it found 30 some files and you can see we have some random uh, files probably from the system there but of course we want to do a full scan and of course if there are certain partitions like not the entire physical drive raw file you can of course select a partition most likely the information we are looking for are located on the D partition of this drive and this is of course the same drive so we can indeed scan this one for this case, most of the information should be located onto this partition. But for some systems, um, the information is divided between different partitions. So uh, in that case, it's always better to do the full raw disk file scan and you will get some more information out of it. After the process is done, you can see this. Purion file recovery says this many files, which were deleted, has been found. So then we can click OK and we can then select all and recover and we will select recover with folder structure because if we do that it will recover it with the file types listed as is. We have selected a location and the recovery process will begin. Just wait for it to complete. When the recovery is complete, you can then browse the files in the specified folder. In this folder structure, all the files which were deleted and recovered should be located. And as we have selected that save folder structure, they will be divided up neatly. If however the structure is damaged, they usually group by type, like JPEG, MP4 and whatever types of file there is in there. So that should basically be that. Hope this little video helped you to recover some files from lost partitions or deleted files from a working hard drive and well, have fun. This is your host, Jim Desm, signing out.